this opportunity. This is a, it is said that every problem is an opportunity. In the present case, it was that the problem of the world was an opportunity for the whole mankind. That was the kind of impact on pandemic. Pandemic and the whole world seemed to have gone topsy turvy. But how did the man, the humans, deal with it and, and survive? Not only survive, but excelled in several fields. I'll be dealing with, apart from our life science, I'll be dealing with the impact that it has had on judiciary, the impact on the healthcare sector, and the impact on real estate. This, this is how I am dividing my, my the issues that I'm dealing with. Suddenly, all of a sudden, one day we woke up and we realized that the books were too slow. They were not giving us the in instant information. What has happened? What has gone wrong? And suddenly we dis discovered that books are quiet. So what did we do? Internet all of a sudden became much faster. Everybody was going for it and it became much louder. So the two Im instant impacts were reversed by mankind. John Donne, a poet, says that no man is an island. Every man is a piece of a continent, a part of the main, until one day we are all locked down. That's what happened. And socially distant, suddenly we were all islands. All continents connected through the world wide web. One has never felt closer to people. <clears throat> all you need to do is to click a button and you can reach your friend, but it is, uh, you can make a friend. But at the same time, one is more distance, distanced from the world. The only access being through a computer screen. The relationships are changing. The manner in which we socialize is changing. The change is visible here and now. There is huge increase in streaming and lockdown and lockdown to work from home. Two big changes, which are going to have impact for decades to come or centuries to come, which was also captured by data demand. The data demand rose as compared to the commercial areas. Millions of people went online for the internet and more, total internet hits have surged between 50% to 70% according to the statistics of March 2020. Lockdown boosted data demand. India's data consumption over the top streaming services surged to 947%. 947% between March to July of 2020. According to Frankfurt-based Internet Exchange, the data consumption and OTT streaming and video on demand rose by 249% between March and April as against February of 2020. How did it hit the lawyers or judiciary? As a lawyer, it turned our world upside down. It took away our black gowns. It took away the arguments in open court. And also the time that we spent traveling to and fro from the courts, suddenly we became very lonely. But then there was a way out. The International Court of Justice allowed proceedings to continue through video conferencing. The internet, the, it was said that it was balancing the right of health of judges and also those involved in the court proceedings with the fundamental role, role of the judiciary 
in securing access to justice legal protection of human rights and the rule of law pandemic led to closure of courts only urgent matters could be entertained a final argument in criminal appeal or delivering a reserved judgment in such appeals would hardly qualify as emergency what does this mean for a person in jail he or she can continue in jail as the case is not urgent and this and many more dilemmas continue to engulf except that in this case the courts intervened and ensured that the courts were not overcrowded and those who are who were under trials were ordered to be released on their personal bond from struggling to find space to stand with the courts we were struggling to click on links and arguing our cause for justice from behind a computer screen and also on a seminar like this on law and justice the do through new vc apps cisco webex and zoom etc we discovered new world from filing documents physically to now sending an email to the court master with all the files what happened to education children had a reason not to go to school and but they missed friends and suddenly schools reduced itself to classes and homework and examination the tiny respite of different time of course was missed globally over 1.2 billion children were out of classrooms distinctive rise in e learning where teaching work place teaching work took place remotely on digital platforms the world the in denmark children up to the age of 11 were running returning to nurseries and school after initially closing down on 12th march but in south korea students were responsible responding to low roll calls from teachers online india etech company byju byju a bangalore based educational technology an online tutoring firm has seen a 200% increase in the number of new students one one hand unplanned on the other hand rapid move on to online learning with no training insufficient bandwidth little preparation with the result that the poor use of experience that is unproductive to sustain growth and non conducive on the other hand integration of technology into an experience of education will provoke conventional classroom to move beyond the emphasis on rote learning to a more realistic practical and all round learning experience corona virus visa uncertainty uncertainly tuned against foreign chinese students pandemic affected racial prejudice what happened to the hospitals in and health sector covid-19 rapid admissions into hospitals number of patients in icu rises supplies are low icu are near full capacity not full capacity st james hospital in london one of the best in the world saw patients lying on the in the corridor on the floor some are conscious some unconscious some dead the world is the world was on the brink of catastrophic moral failure in the distribution of vaccines once the who 29 deaths in norway 
after getting vaccinated. India, 580 adverse reaction and two deaths based on day three of vaccination. Matt Hancock, Health Secretary of United Kingdom, says that some, someone is admitted to a hospital every 30 seconds for coronavirus. Global medical staff shortage. Indian doctors went on strike in protest against long, undulated working hours and inadequacies of the India's health infrastructure. Iraq faced, a doc faced doctor's shortage too because about 20,000 doctors fled Iraq in the recent years over threats and targeted killings. South Korea, doctors turned furious and decided to go on strike. US healthcare, workers demanded strike action to address understaffing and low pay as the pandemic deepened. What did it do to real estate? According to Knight Frank, India, second quarter of 2020 was perhaps the worst hit due to COVID-19. Office reality, Realty saw a substantial decline of 27% to 17.3% 17, 17 in 2020 with NCR and Pune witnessing the sharp fall of 86% and 87% respectively. Office leasing dropped by 37% uh, in the year on a year-to-year -year, year basis to 17.2%. According to NROC, home sales across top seven cities decreased by 49%. Sales in 2020 were down to 81%. Surges by regus post-corona financially scarred companies resorted to seeking smaller and flexible office spaces to save on costs. Besides eliminating the substantial real estate costs as rent, electricity, and facility management, work from home was aiding companies to cut down transportation costs of the employees. This allowed the employees to find houses farther away from the office location. Colliers, International report office vacancy rates have, have risen and rents in Silicon Valley have sagged. In India, NBFCs still facing liquidity crunch. The government possibility, government says possibility of creating more schemes like 25,000 crore, a special window for affordable and mid-house, mid-income housing to ensure expeditious completion of all all stalled and stressed projects. The government should consider extending the credit link subsidy scheme for middle class and middle income groups under which the upfront interest subsidy of 2.7 lakh is provided to first time home buyers beyond March 31, 2021. Thank you.